Hey, what's up you guys? We are hanging out here with Born of Osiris. Could I have you guys personally introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us you're on the band? Uh, my name is Joe Burris and I play keyboard and do backup vocals. All right. And I'm Lee McKinney and I play guitar. If you guys are porn stars, what do you think your porn star name would be? I think Lee's would maybe be like Fire Rod <laughs> or something. <laughs> Fire Rod. Mine would be uh, Thumper. <laughs> Are you implying something there? <laughs> I was just thinking about Bambi character and I don't know. Yeah, Bambi and porn. <laughs> he can go pretty fast. Thumper can go pretty fast. <laughs> well guys, Born of Osiris, why do people need to check you guys out? What is your music all about? Well, we, uh, we are a metal band, but yet, um, especially with this new CD, we've been uh, trying a lot of new things, like uh, electronically and vocally, and uh, I don't know, I think that people of many styles of music can, can get into our band. Tell me about your uh, lead singer. Give me something embarrassing about him. Um, he used to have a lazy eye when he was little. <laughs> That's something embarrassing, uh, <laughs> I guess. He's gonna be pissed you said that? He's gonna be very angry. Sorry, Ron. <laughs> but it's fine, he fixed it. There's no, he has no lazy it's anymore. It's mostly fixed. <laughs> <laughs> but some nights, like, when he gets too drunk, it goes lazy again. I don't know why. And he can make it go lazy on command, which is, I think, a very cool talent. So. He probably like, I do it on purpose. It was never, like, an option. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was we'll never. see. <laughs> All right, um... Obviously, guys, this isn't the easiest life. It's <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. This life can't be completely easy, though. What motivates you to keep doing this and to come to a rainy, boring city like Nebraska? I guess it's the state. Why do you guys do this, man? Just for fun, man. Yeah? It's, it's a good time. You're like a rock star. Um, he's feeling like such a rock star. He just walks around with his zipper down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just experiment. embarrassing each other on camera. We're trying to be experimental, you know. <laughs> Zipper. <laughs> okay. Where do you see this band going in a year, ten years? You want? You think you can play arenas? You think you can do crazy stuff? Well, once we start like wearing more makeup, I think we might more. You know, we could hit the arenas, but we're still experimenting with that. Okay. Once there's a little bit more eyeliner, lipstick, boots, chains, like we can go pretty far with this. I think if we want. So yeah. once we take this step, you know, it's you gotta take it one step at chains a time. Are expensive, so it's it's not like you can just jump to chains like in a day, you know, like you gotta you gotta work up to it. We're we talking about music or porn here. I'm, I'm talking about <laughs> style. You guys ever fight? This fight? Yeah. Yeah, we really don't care for each other. Time, Joe bought these shoes, and I don't know what kind of shoes they were, but they were just a little too tight, and like I think he didn't want to admit that the shoes were too tight. So we kept on nagging at him, just nagging at him, like, your shoes are too tight. 10 or 11 times after that, he just flips out. Okay, my shoes, I take them off, and then you can put them on. But I had these shoes that you couldn't do that with. You had to lace them every time to get them on. And in the van, you can get to the truck stop, and you got to get out. And you don't want to fucking lace your shoes up. And everyone's waiting for you to get out of the door, because you're right next to the door. And so I just get these looks, and then they would just be like, tight, and then it, ooh, it got me wrong. Bro, I think your shoes are too tight. <laughs> I want to like say that on stage tonight. Dude, your shoes are too tight. <laughs> I'll throw my shoe at your head. <laughs> Dude, you're missing a shoe. <laughs> Come and get it. Um, if your parents tagged along on the road, do you think anything about this life would surprise them? Yeah, Yeah. definitely. What do you think would surprise them? Mm, when we get hotels. I don't know where this is going. Uh, never mind, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> no, no. So me and my bandmates, we get in a hotel. It was one of our first tours we did, and we did an interview with uh, Metal Injection, and we smoked weed in the, during the interview, and like, we all got calls from our moms, like, two days later when they posted the interview, and like, it was not good. The moms, they got this email chain. I swear, it's like one button. It shoots to every mother in the band. And like, they just figured out, like, saw weed today, send. This was when we were 18. I mean, it's, it's, this will never happen again. But this was like one of the first tours out of high school. And our moms were just like, weed? My mom came in our house the other day. And people were smoking. And they didn't know my mom was coming, so it's not their fault. But she said it smelled like high. <laughs> I've never heard that, but that's interesting. <laughs> 
It's creative. It's not. <laughs> very, very, very Christian mothers. I think everybody in the band. Porn. Porn. <laughs> porn. porn on papyrus. Porn on papyrus. <laughs> that could be the porn. <laughs> you know, we are That'd be a porn star name. <laughs> we always need new song titles, so. Porn on papyrus. We've been called porno butt pirates, too. I think that one's really good. I just want to throw that one out there. <laughs> Good. It rhymes a little bit. Describe the person next to you using one word. So you're going to describe each of us. You ready? Um, I'm prepared. Beautiful and so sleek. You, oh, I'm beautiful? Which one's sleek? Yeah, which one's sleek? Actually, you're sleek. What? what? You? I thought it was beautiful. Corn on the cob. One word. Okay, <laughs> cob. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do one for each of you. I'm going to say... Um, you remind me of like one of those grease dudes that'd be wait, like wait, wearing I a. This is one word. No, no, it's greasy. It's, you never greasy. It. Okay. Yo, I come on. Give well, me I was gonna say, I was, I was, there's a point to it though. You, you you remember those like grease dudes that'd be wearing like a toga and like like no shirt, oh, okay. just like sitting on like a you know bathtub or yeah, something. Yeah. Like chewing on a stick. <laughs> yeah, I would just call you like toga. Yeah, and yeah. then I would just scream. <gasps> I'm gonna call you fire. Fire. That's creative. That's creative. I think. <laughs> fire or desire. Fire of desire. I'm gonna. Porn star name. Okay, Are you getting back though? Crumbs. <laughs> for sure. Like all over the place. I have no crumbs. And then let me see. Let me just. Size me up. Size you up. I say lovely. You're a lovely guy. Thank you. Crumbs. Get him out of here. <laughs> Who am I gonna pick to finish the interview with? Because we can't finish together. I think we can. <laughs> All right. We can try something. <laughs> Fight to the death. You guys ready? I know. My shoes won't fall off. Like <laughs> if we fight, I'll kick you. That's one thing. His shoes are on too tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least your shoes are on tight, so if you kick oh, him, yeah. I need some, some oven mitts because I can't touch the fire over there. He's going to burn. If your dad was to go to a party, okay. what, and he could only bring one item to the party, what would it be? Bong. Sorry? A bong. A bong? Yeah. Like a smoking pipe? Yeah. All right. I'm just kidding. My dad's like a therapist. Oh, <laughs> okay. He'll be pissed if he sees this. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's the most interesting thing a fan has ever said to you? Um, I get a lot of dudes coming up to me saying that they would have my babies, and I just don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> we have this, they want to adopt with you. I don't know. I feel like it's more sexual driven, but that may be what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're thinking about the, there's no, there's no sex involved. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing your fans ever said to you? Um, fuck. Fucker. <laughs> fucker. I, there was this fan that threw a hat at me one time, and I didn't know if he was mad or if he was giving me his hat. And then I put it on, and it was. An, I still have it. It's a nice hat. I want to triple dog challenge you to a mosh fest. I'll hold the mic. Go. I, I'll, I'll mosh you. I triple dog dared. I didn't know what to do. Triple dog dared. <laughs> Okay, how about this? What What's better? Do? What's better? Teach me. What's better? Which, if you could... I'm getting HXC. I gotta, where's my shirt? If you could just, if you could hardcore dance to any song, what would it be? Uh, poker Face. Um, hardcore? Nookie. Go. This is good. I think we've all learned something from this. I think I have like four. There's a tie. Ow! <laughs> hey, high five, man. That was, that that was, was good. good. This is good. I think, I think at some point I dislocated my album. <laughs> hey, guys, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the dancing. Real quick, guys, tell us about the new album. I'm going to go to a hospital after this for my arm. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Nobody cares about that anymore. Yeah. Right? After, the, after they just watch this HXC day. Oh, I'm pumped. All right. It's called the Discovery. Okay. Discover it. Discover the Discovery. Take your car, go to the store, buy it. If you don't have a car, you get a bike. You ride your bike. You don't have a bike, you get a skateboard. You don't have a skateboard, you get a pogo stick. You don't have a pogo stick, you get a Razor scooter. You don't have a Razor scooter, you get some rollerblades. If you don't have rollerblades, then you walk your ass, okay? Ride your friend. Yeah.
Call him, he'll give you a piggyback ride. All right, guys, born of Osiris, I say we finish off with a dance off. We'll see you guys later. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. We're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. I am a ninja. You need to know. Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh, God. Oh, God. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, wee! <gasps> All right. <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.